matter. You can talk to the camera. Right, both. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm Eddie, lead singer and uh, guitarist for Crossfade. Less guitar and keyboards. And I'm Mitch, I play bass and backup vocals. So you guys just released We All Believe about a year ago, and that was on a different label. Was it different being on a label that's more centered around rock? Yeah, I mean, it's, um, you know, I guess with the old, uh, older labels, um, you know, we they involve our music a little more across the board, you know, like with uh, alternative and um, modern rock, active rock. And the label we're with now, I think we're just kind of hitting active rock um, stations, which um, that's kind of a little bit of a change. So the song's a lot darker. What brought about that change? This guy right here. <laughs> His twisted brain uh, changed, changed a lot. Changed a lot of the the way we approach writing music, I guess, uh, you know, all of our lyrics are, have been dark for a long time, but uh, now the uh, music kind of fits fits it. <laughs> Is the writing process a collaborative thing, or do you guys just kind of throw ideas at each other? You literally throw ideas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, this this album, Les, um, Les had a lot of work on this album, and um, but um, yeah, I mean, you know, as with the other records, it's always. You know, you're always going back and forth with your boys. So you guys spend a lot of time together. What do you do to stay sane while you're on the road? Who said we stay <laughs> sane? <laughs> I mean, I think Both. We, get, we get along great pretty much all the time, so that helps. There's not a whole lot of tension ever in the in the bus, and uh, you know we're friends and we have cocktails together, and that uh, seems to <laughs> seems to remind us how much we love each other mm -hmm. when we're drooling on each other's face. <laughs> What music are you guys playing on the bus? Anything in particular? Yeah, or just separate, uh, you know, earbuds and stuff. So I don't know what these cats are listening to. I don't listen to much music. Like, I think I get enough of it out here, you know. So. <laughs> what about you guys? Uh, I listen to Meshuggah a lot. It's one of my new favorites. I mean, I've, they've been a, I've liked them for a long time, but their new album is one of my new favorites. So uh, I've been putting that pretty much on repeat. A uh, little Lamb of God, and then I'll listen to like the jazz and door station, so I'm all over the place. <laughs> I was listening to something last night, but I don't remember what it was. <laughs> I, mean, I woke up with headphones on. <laughs> so are you playing the chance in Poughkeepsie tonight at some tiny little place? Do you like playing this kind of intimate show, or do you like like the big festivals like Rock on the Range better? I, I personally like the, uh, the intimate, more intimate shows um, better than the um, the really, really huge ones, of course, you know, playing arenas and stuff is always really fun, and that kind of thing, but um, I like the more intimate stuff, I think. And I think the sound, the sound's always better in a small club than it is at a festival. Because you can hone it in, you can get your sound right, you can start playing these huge things, especially when it's band, 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 you really don't have a chance to make yourself sound as good as you want to be, so it's a lot easier. Do you have any crazy moments on tour or weird things happen to you? Um, not this tour yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, Did you just look over at me? Can you answer that? Well, I, mean, I saw this. Oh, not no. this tour yet. <laughs> <laughs> not this tour. You know, so, something uh, inevitably always is kind of happy. But, um, a little more sane this time. And we'll try to keep it on the Shows up, you know. Excellent.